Okay. I think... Is that loud enough? Alrighty. That's too loud. Okay. So, I haven't posted or recorded anything in a minute. So, I'm kind of just going about this stream as if I'm doing vlog footage. Because I haven't been doing too much of that either. But, yeah. I don't know. I feel extra awkward. Hold on. This isn't the right screen. Not me not knowing how to do anything. Where's my webcam? Okay. I feel like my angle's all weird. But, I don't feel like trying to adjust it. I redid all my cable management today, but I think I messed up a lot of my settings. Oops. Hey Serial Sensei, how you doing? I'm not talking to you, Siri. What the heck? How are you today? Happy Sunday. How have you been? Okay, I'll respond to that later. I honestly thought that I had a whole bunch to talk about today, but I actually don't. At least I don't know if I do. I think I'm just trying to fight through the urge to nap. I want to sleep so bad, but I can't. I'm gonna pull through. <laughs> I'm fighting the urge to nap because I want to sleep through the night and I want to wake up early tomorrow like a big girl. So I'm gonna really try to stay awake up until like 11, which I know I can. If I sleep now, I'm gonna wake up at like 3 a.m. So I will be working on some <laughs> Miles Morales fan art. I just, I've been bouncing back and forth between like two different drawings, but like actually three different drawings. But I'm ignoring every other project that I set out to do this month just to draw this. Not this right here, but what I'm about to draw. Or what I've already drawn and now I'm painting. I'm trying to do another digital painting again. I think, I think I'm getting better. I don't know, we'll see. Doing good, been out and about all day. Now I can kick up my feet and play some Zelda. Ooh, the Tears of the Kingdom. How are you enjoying that? I'm happy for all the Zelda folks. Y'all seem like you're having a great time and I love that for y'all. It's what you deserve. I never play Zelda. I just always had a lot of friends that played Zelda. And I just enjoyed the way people talked about it. Like, I never really played it, but like, I watched. I watched from afar. It looks really beautiful, though. I was watching the Square Enix, 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 <laughs> uh, showcase or whatever they're doing for Final Fantasy. That's another game that I, I peep, but I don't play. I have no plans on playing that game ever, actually. But I love it for the folks who do love it. People who love Final Fantasy are so passionate for that damn game. <sighs> on the other hand, me, I haven't really been playing many games. I want to though, I feel the urge. Tears of the Kingdom has me in a chokehold and I just accepted it. Yep, just accept your fate. I wanna get I wanna get sunken into a game again though. I haven't felt like that in a really long time. No game has really been able to do that for me, or I just haven't acquired the games that do that. You know. What I need to do is make time to play games. I just find myself always filling up my calendar. And what I need to do is fill up my calendar with, with rest days. Because that burnout hit me again. Again. I knew it was coming too. As part of the reason why I haven't been able to like actually be on here, I wanted to stream because I had planned on editing videos this week. But that didn't work out. Clearly because nothing's been posted. 
So I was just like, okay, well, I can come and do a little stream. I was gonna do it yesterday, but I forgot why. I don't remember why I didn't do it yesterday. I guess I didn't feel like it. Ice cubes? Yes, they are. I feel like I'm doing it weird. I don't know, man. Okay. Oh my god! Stop yawning! Oh my gosh, so rude. Not feeling like it is always a valid reason. That's what I'm saying. Like, I truly just didn't feel like it. I wanted to do a lot of things yesterday and I just didn't accomplish any of them. I was supposed to, well I kind of did. I was supposed to um, get some help doing a product photo shoot, but that fell through. Um, but I ended up taking the pictures. Oh, and it's of my new tote. I have it right here. Let me, uh... Actually, let me get an empty one. My tote bags. I mean, I've been vlogging for like two months. <laughs> so like in my head, I'm, I'm speaking to y'all, but y'all don't even know what I'm talking about. But anyways, my totes. If you're watching the stream, you probably don't know, or unless you follow me on Instagram, but I made totes and I finally got them last week. And I did a photo shoot with them yesterday. I did the best I could with the photo shoot, but aren't they so cute? Look at the kennaps. And it's such a nice bag. I use it for everything. I wear it everywhere. It's my mainly like my work bag or if I'm just going, to, it's it's a shopping bag. So I take it to go shopping, which I don't do very much because I don't have a lot of money, but you know, that's the idea. But they came out well. And now I, um, yeah, now I have at least some pictures. I couldn't take a lot of pictures because it's hot. It was like 97 degrees out there. The pain. It hurt too much to be outside. Maybe I'll do another photo shoot, like, I don't know. I have to get up earlier. Like, get up early in the morning and then do it. We shall see. I don't want to do anything outside. I have, like, one more outdoor market to do this month, too. I'm dreading it. Like, I'm actually excited for the market, but I'm dreading the weather, you know? <laughs> it's not gonna be good. And it's like during, <laughs> it's during the daytime. So it's not like a night market where it'll eventually cool down. No, it's just gonna stay hot. Hate it for me. But it is what it is. But I'm just tired, y'all, I'm tired. Always trying to do something. Always trying to do everything, everywhere, all at once. And it's really been catching up to me. I haven't really taken a break. I've been going hard since since MegaCon. Like, I'm just so exhausted. That's why I couldn't really adhere to any of the projects that I had planned out. I'm supposed to be working on my Tekken charms this whole month. And I'm just like, or like my Tekken chibis. That's just going to be a year long project at this point. Cause I'm like, I get too bored just sticking to one subject. And then I also, it was a lot more, not me dropping things. Anyways, it's a lot of work. So I'm like, okay, well, I need to have other things to do. I need to refresh my mind. This is a drawing that I sketched out like over a year ago. I just never finished it. So I'm doing it now. I feel that it's hot. It's stupid hot. It's just, ugh, it feels disgusting. Sweating as much as I do. But then when, see, I work at a office where it's like really cold inside. So at least I'm only there part time, but I usually wear sweaters everywhere because I expect it to be cold at work. And I'm always freezing when I come home from work because it's so cold in there. I'm gonna get sick going into like extreme heat and extreme cold like that. Summer is upon us, y'all. Spring was like <laughs> a month. I'm in Florida, so like it's always hot and sweaty here. 
for the most part. Stop yawning, I promise. I'm gonna stop yawning. It'll stop eventually. Um, but despite the heat, I am excited because I think I'm gonna have a well, I have a very busy summer. I have a convention in Tallahassee coming up that I didn't prepare for at all, so that's gonna be great. I didn't even book a place to stay, and I'm like, oh, that's important. So I gotta figure that out. <laughs> Cause I'm just like, oh, I forgot that I didn't, but I booked the place for a different con that's like happening this fall, but not that one. So I'm like, oh, oops. But then I have one in Tampa, which that one is not gonna be too difficult. I can drive to that one in a day. I wouldn't have to stay anywhere. What else? Oh, I also have one in Orlando. And then I may, I don't know if I'm going to get into this cup sleeve event. I signed up for it. It's pretty much themed for, um, what's the theme of this cup sleeve? The theme is, what is that show that everybody loves? With the little girl with the pink hair? Oh, Spy X Family. See, I forgot the damn name. <laughs> Anyways, I have Spy X Family art that I need to do, and I have not done that yet. So I'm like, well... I don't know if I'll get in if I don't have that art done, but we'll see. I have too many fandoms to do. I've kind of realized that I don't need to do every fandom that is suggested to me. It's too much work and that also leads to burnout quickly. Had to learn the hard way though. Okay, I just want to do a little bit of line art and then I'll move on my spooder man stuff because that's the real like the real thing that's uh, on my mind right now i just forgot about this drawing when i found it i was like oh well i can do something with this i need new prints at my table getting a little bored looking at my older ones okay I guess that can be oblong, sure. I'm just gonna pretend like I meant to do that. But yeah, this outdoor market, it should be fun. I was trying to get a merch order in before that market, but I didn't make the deadline in time. So, oops for me. I, I did order some new merch and I got lanyards coming in, which I'm very excited for. And I hope they come out well, because the colors need to be really vibrant. Um, I went with a company that I'm used to using uh, to help me do the manufacturing. So I hope they don't... <laughs> I hope it comes out well, because it's in their busy season, and I'm just like... I can't afford any mess-ups right now. I've already wasted enough time. What y'all been up to? I'm done catching up about me. I've just been doing the same old, same old. Work, drawing, going to markets and conventions and stuff. I haven't really been to too much since MegaCon, but I didn't post that vlog yet, which I really need to, because that was fun. That was probably the most fun I've had this year. Actually, no, it was actually kind of painful. Never mind. Let me not rewrite history like that. MegaCon was really painful because I didn't get any sleep. Like, no sleep at all. Let's see, does this go here? Sure, why not? Okay. I'm thinking about drawing more food too. That's probably why I went back to this drawing, just cause you know, the the setting is kind of like a a cafe. I think this was originally supposed to be Apex Apex Legends fan art. So like 
the characters are kind of inspired by Loba and Wraith. But I'm not sure if I want to continue that. I don't know. I guess I should. I mean, I really did model them. I, they're not wearing like the same clothing, except for Wraith. I did like the scarf on her. Does anyone still play Apex? Besides uh, die-hard FPS people? Actually, I don't even see them playing anymore. Okay. I think the lines just need to be a little bit thicker here. So my other drawing that I'm working on is one that has like no, no line art really. So I feel the need to come back to this drawing anytime I'm working on that other one, just so that I can <laughs> feel the structure of line art. I miss it. Good. All right. This cup is done. Okay. Cool beans. Whoa, what the heck? Make sure they don't look too lopsided. I can't believe I used to draw without flipping my canvas. Did I hate myself? I think I did, just a little bit. It was gonna come out that well. Forgot your nostrils, sis. My bad. Even a piercing? We're not doing that. At least not not right now. Alrighty. All right, now I'm gonna go back <laughs> to this painting. Let me make sure OBS is not playing games with me. It is, hold on. That's a refresh, my screen share. I hate how I have to do that every time I switch a drawing. Like, you should know by now. I Oh, I updated everything but my screen sharing app. Maybe that's why. Ooh, this is dying kind of fast. Well, I'm at 80%, but it was at 88 when I started. Okay, so I'm doing like some intense rendering here. And if you haven't seen the movie, I, I'll try not to explain anything. Actually, yes, I'll be quiet. I'll be quiet, unless somebody asks me something. <laughs> and you've seen it. So I, I can't guarantee that this will be spoiler free. 
I feel like I don't even know if this in particular this drawing would be a spoiler I guess if I explain what what it is it is a spoiler I guess yeah let me just be quiet <laughs> But I love this movie so much. I keep telling everybody, it's my new personality. I love it. I think about it all the time. I'm gonna watch it again. I'm gonna buy it. I wanna own a physical copy. I'm gonna pass it down to my children. I consider just doing this entire drawing like in the style of the show, but then I was just like, eh, that doesn't really feel very real to me. I prefer just trying to tackle something like this in my own style because that's what I like when I see other people's fan art. I like seeing their takes on something that's been done. I'd get really bored if I just had to copy the exact style, you know? Now, I don't really have like a good reference image for this at all, cause like, this is such a small snippet of the movie. And there's it's not like there's a bunch of pictures that I can reference at this time. So I'm kind of, I'm low key making some details up as I go. Especially since I'm going off of like a real grainy picture and my memory. The one thing I just really didn't understand about trying to render things before, like this is maybe my second or third drawing where I'm pretty much rendering in all the details instead of adding them in as line art. Cause I really want, I don't know, I really want to have like a painterly style or like just more diverse skill sets when it comes to digital painting. I want to be able to produce a different look. What I need to do is check my layers and make sure that I'm not like painting on the wrong ones. I'm, I'm not, but let me label them. Okay, that's the shoulder spike. <sighs> that, not surgery. I can't spell. That's for the eyes. Okay, and these two are the line art. Okay. Perfect.
I also think painting is more therapeutic for me. Oh, and I don't really, I don't really have the time to paint on canvas. There's one painting that I really do need to finish on canvas, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait on that one. I need a little bit more time to get that done. Time and space. So another thing that's really difficult about this for me is that I'm not trying to take this into some hyper realistic space, but like sometimes I can't, I don't know, I, I feel like I can't decide whether I want to take it there or try to make it a bit more stylized. I'm definitely trying to keep this one more stylized for my taste. darker here than I thought. Ah, shading's hard. I'm also trying not to put too much pressure on myself to be too exact. That's sometimes why I never finish digital paintings, because I get too in the weeds. I get caught up trying to make something look perfect, and then I end up hating it. I get stuck and I'm just like, okay, what the heck do I do now? I can use some more depth in a few areas though. Ah, my armpit itches. the hell I hate how with the certain I don't know I guess I have to change my gesture settings because 
Thumb gestures will just automatically change my pen into an eraser. Get in that nostril. Oh my god. <laughs> this might be the most focused I've ever been on stream ever. That's truly an accomplishment for me. It's really dark up in here under the nostril. I'm just like, how do I how do I maintain definition here? I actually think this nostril needs to be larger. darker it's like right here caught up in this area. I already feel like I am. <laughs> Excuse me. Definitely keep flip flopping over this section. Just can't make up my mind. Snarl! Yeah! I see it. 
like right above the nostril here, like a slight snarl. Well, I need to define that plane just a little bit. I love 42 miles so much. This is a lot less of a disaster than I thought it would be. Very happy for that. Okay, I'm gonna do this on the eye layer. I need the eyes to look a bit darker.
Oh my god, why can't I pick this? Okay. A lot of the eye stuff is going to be me using a lot of adjustment layers. I don't really need to do too much. Just I need to fade these colors a little bit more. I still want it to look streaky. All right. Oh shit, wrong layer. Just erase that. I don't want anything on the wrong layer. Okay. I just want to see a quick time lapse. See how far I've come. I honestly didn't think I would make it past the sketch phase. And I'm alternating between this, these hard blend brushes and just a regular hard brush. Because I want some texture in there. Okay. Oh shit. I gotta use another brush for this. I have to use a soft or the hard brush. Okay.
Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. I just see that I'm losing some definition here. layer okay good oh is it okay I'm like stressed god forbid I did all that on the wrong layer okay dark right where it needs to be I might be able to just move on to- oh, the ear. <laughs> Never mind. Forgot about that. The ear is definitely- I just made that shit up. I'm like, I don't know what to do here. I'm gonna get the smudge brush.
I think this is the most detailed ear I've ever drawn. Okay, <laughs> I'm stop touching the ear now. Oh, so I actually have a reference image that I've been kind of using. I wish I should pull it up here.
And what's the difference without it? Ooh, big difference. Looks more apathetic. Which is what I was trying to go for. I'm gonna exaggerate the size of the lash line too. So it looks heavier. Okay, it has the heaviness that I want it to have now. Okay, so... I wanted to do just a short stream on YouTube. And then I was gonna hop on over to Twitch. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm gonna hop over to Twitch mainly because I wanna listen to a different playlist. <laughs> and I can't do that on YouTube. All right, so the link is in the description box, I think. Yeah, link should be in the description box. I'm gonna take this over to Twitch. So yeah, I'll see y'all later. Peace out. Oh, the camera's here. Peace out. <laughs>